यूनिट वन यूनिट वन यू कैन सी द रियल नंबर एंड वेरी वेरी वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बॉन्ड इन प्रीवियस डेट सो दैट इज वॉट कम्स अंडर पॉलिनोम एंड वॉट आर द जीरो विल बी नथिंग बट हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रा इन द ग्राफिकली हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यू ऑल फिजिक्स वाला in this session what we are going to see your complete mathematics syllabus what are the chapter name what are the topics will be there in, uh, included in that so we are going to uh, see the in detail uh, complete math syllabus we can say that in this academic year so without any further delay let's begin the show yes there you can see here uh, yes sir. right so first uh, unit 1 unit 1 you can see the real numbers so in this chapter consisting of a what what are the different number systems will be there so you can see we know that what does it mean by integers complete picture of that integer means what and we are going to revise all those things and whole number means right and very very one more important point in in previous grade you guys are learn all those thing right rational numbers means what irrational number means what if anything is given to you how we are going to prove the irrationality concept and there is a fundamental theorem of arithmetic so how we are going to uh, uh, prove that uh, uh, like one prime number will be divisible the relationship between the prime number and all those thing fundamental theorem of arithmetic you can see so which i am writing uh, simply as fundamental theorem and you can see the prime uh, factorization how we are going to do the prime factorization and euclid division uh, lemma you can see the uh, those things will be comes under in this chapter which is basically what complete picture of a what this thing up dear so which are the topic you can see that this integers and whole numbers these are the complete numbering system we are going to recall is first then we are going to entering into the how to prove irrationality and uh, prime factorization this is all you know that in our previous grade and we are going to recall all these things in this real chapter real numbers i hope you get it uh, the what is the idea behind this uh, chapter and what are the things will be involved in the chapter and next one very high age uh, uh, area you can see that algebra in that algebra polynomials will be there if what are polynomial consisting of basically in your uh, previous grade there is algebraic expression the continuation part of that algebraic expression will be the your polynomial so we are going to see in detail what doesn't mean by polynomial and uh, what are the different type of a polynomial how the polynomials will be classified based on the terms based on the degree based on that what uh, uh, variables you can say that so that is what comes under polynomial and what are the zeros will be uh, nothing but how we are going to draw in the graphically Uh, how we are going to calculate the zeros of that particular polynomial so what actually the meaning of the zeros and we will see that and next one will be the pair of uh, uh, equation linear equation in the two it is a continuation part of this we can consider because in that polynomial there is a linear polynomial will be there what is the degree of that linear uh, polynomial how the degree will be uh, uh, will be calculated for the particular polynomial which is given to you and what does it mean by linear equation in two variable so this r r comes under what are the different solutions will be the available so how we are going to calculate the solutions and uh, what does it mean by unique solution what does it mean by consistent what does it mean by inconsistent these all things we are going to see in this chapter actually and this is also continuation of that polynomial you can say quadratic equation the polynomial if you are making uh, that uh, polynomial equal to the zero or if you are making equal to the something here then that will become as a equation and what does it mean by quadratic actually again this is a classification comes under polynomial and if the degree of that particular polynomial will be 2 then this still comes under quadratic polynomial right then the continuation part of this and how you are going to calculate the roots of the quadratic equation what are the nature of the roots how they will be equal or unequal real or non real or imaginary these are all complete picture we are going to see in that quadratic equation next one progression actually in that progression we have uh, uh, in general arithmetic progression will be there uh, geometric pro progression will be there harmonic progression will be there but in your syllabus there is a only ap will be there arithmetic progression and what actually the arithmetic progression if any general term will be given to you how you are going to calculate the particular uh, uh, term in that progression what are the different uh, sums of that particular sequence and what does it mean by progression in day to day life where we are observing these things we are going to see in detail in the arithmetic progression i hope you understood that what are the things will be there what are the chapter names and what we are going to do in the algebra right next point 
next point will be the what you can see the coordinate geometry you can see the coordinate geometry also in your basically there is a cartesian plane will be there and how the uh, cartesian plane will be divided what does it mean by y axis and uh, the quadrant of that uh, y axis is given to you x axis is given to you and uh, this is my first quadrant how x and y will be look like and how the x and y values are here 1 and 4 and uh, and see what does it mean by origin how we are going to calculate the distance between the two formulas and what does it mean by section for uh, section formula and uh, midpoint how we are going to calculate this is a complete picture of that uh, coordinate geometry that will be comes under in this chapter actually whenever two points is given there is a some more point here there is a point point of these coordinates is known to us then how we are going to calculate the distance actually this is the one formula and uh, one concept and there is a point here there is a line actually this is the line this is the midpoint of this how we are going to calculate midpoint of this whenever the two coordinates are given to you and next one there is a uh, 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 one more one two points is given and there is a one more point here this point is uh, dividing in the form of how two is to one ratio or one is to two ratio this is by using the section formula we are going to uh, calculate the coordinates of that particular point what does it mean by abscissa what does it mean by ordinate we are going to see each and everything in that coordinate geometry here right so i hope you get it this is also one of the very interesting chapter so there are more and more formulas will be there but uh, you, you need not to worry those formulas are you can easily remember or you can easily relate with that uh, uh, classes actually right chalo so let's move forward to the next and you can see that geometry in that geometry that you can uh, see the triangles actually in that in, in your previous grade there is a triangle concept there is a congruency of a triangle and different criteria of a triangles will be there angles and property of a triangles will be there these are all you learned in the previous grades now in this triangle actually there is a one more new concept that is similarity of a triangle what are the different condition what are the different criteria will be there like as you uh, as usual uh, you discussed in that congruency concept right what does it mean by congruency congruency and what doesn't mean by similarity and if any criteria are satisfying what are the different criteria will be there if the two triangles are similar how we can conclude actually and what does it mean by in by similarity you can see by C, uh, cpct corresponding parts and congruence triangle right here also the corresponding parts will be there how we are going to write that uh, thing on this is what we are going to say in detail in the triangles here right you can say similar triangles also we we are focusing on that similar triangle in that uh, instead of that some test uh, state board the chapter name will be included as a similar triangle here triangles will be there right next one circle ha huh. in that circle also we are going to see that tangent means what okay and secant means what how many number of tangents will be there right if the point inside the circle if the point outside the circle and there are some uh, theorems will be there and how the theorem what a uh, theorem states uh, actually right and uh, relation between line and point like number of tangents will be in whenever the point outside the circle inside the circle and the circle and how many secants will be possible whenever the inside the outside the, and same thing and the relation between that what uh, theorems will also there we will see all those things in this circle chapter here now let's move forward to the next thing the next thing is what you can see here trigonometry ha huh, sir most of the students will feel difficult in this area and if you know the basics and if you know the some pattern of learning the trigonometry you are going to love the trigonometry you are going to fall in love with the trigonometry actually so this is one of the very high tech chapter or high tech in the sense in terms of a what application oriented wide range of applications will be there for this particular chapter okay if you learn that uh, trigonometry there are the uh, what i can say that this is the complete this is completely one of the trigonometry then the introduction of the trigonometry if you learn that how the right angle triangle you know the right angle triangle right so in the right angle triangle, what are the things you know this is what hypotenuse right angle opposite side will be the hypotenuse and that is the longest side of that particular triangle these are my adjacent side huh, we are going to play with that right angle triangle only what does it mean by uh, different ratios will be there and different identities will be there which identities are trigonometry identities will be there and what are the different identity identity what are the basics are required to understand the trigonometry we are going to see in the introduction trigonometry and what are the different type of identities we are going to see in the identity three identities will be there we are going to see in detail in that uh, uh, classes actually right next one will be the what applications of a trigonometry i told you the applications of a trigonometry will be the what you can see wide range of application will be there it's one of the branch of the mathematics we can consider geometry also one of the branch algebra also one of the branch you can consider but wide range of application will be there for the trigonometry you can see how we are going to calculate the height for suppose there 
is a pole standing uh, in front of me and that is very long we cannot measure with the help of a date uh, with the help of a ruler with the help of a scale right so how we are going to calculate by using the trigonometry and there is a tall building and there is a some uh, height of that building and how far distance from the building and we are going to low like this is a daily day to day life example and if you want to calculate very uh, uh, long tree so how you are going to calculate height of the tree and how far it is located from us and you can play with this all those things the distance the distance means that's what the distance height means how to calculate the tall object heights you are going to see and what does it mean by angle of elevation what does it mean by angle of depression so all those things you are going to love uh, learn in the trigonometry definitely believe me trust me uh, this is a, if you know the basically uh, basics of the trigonometry then you are going to uh, fall in love with the trigonometry actually right so definitely this is one of the best chapter we can say that right yes now let's move forward to the next one mensuration how mensuration is also one of the interesting chapter then more more and more formulas will be there those formulas you can uh, need not to buy hard actually uh, how the uh, object will be framing how that what does it mean by tsa actually this is what i'm uh, i'm taking tsa means total surface area and tsa mean uh, curved surface area and there is a volume how we are going to calculate how we are we know the 2d objects right 2d object areas and volumes we know right areas and uh, sorry curved surface area there is no volume right areas and uh, 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 like circumference of that particular circle you know these things actually perimeter you know these things right how you are going to learn uh, 2d to 3d formulas actually 3d object if you know the 2d uh, object formulas like area of that square area of the rectangle and uh, circumference of a square perimeter of a rectangle if you know these things then you can derive the 3d objects as well those 3d objects as what cube cuboid cuboid cylinder cone sphere that is semi sphere and sphere only so these are all object, uh, objects of that particular tsa what actually the meaning of the tsa if you know that thing then you can play with this our object questions and csa what actually the meaning of the csa that is curved surface area how volume will be related to that uh, this 2d object to the 3d object and what actually the volume means what if you know all these things you can play with this concept as well that is surface areas and volume actually this is and areas related areas related to the circle and this is again the same concept so we'll see that what is minor uh, minor sector major sector hmm? line segment and uh, dividing what uh, all those things we will see in that in this chapter actually that is also one of the very more interesting problem more formulas will be there but how the formulas will be coming that how you can relate with the 2d and then you you will feel that what actually the mensuration means what right this is also one of the beautiful chapter we can say that right next point you can see statistics and uh, probability this is also day to day life uh, examples oriented uh, chapters we can say statistics in the statistics what does it mean by mean and you know that mean mode median so in your previous kit but here the closed interval and like uh, what i can say the uh, uh, grouped data and ungrouped data with the help of you know that ungrouped data median how you can calculate mode you can calculate and and the continuation of that uh, grouped data if the grouped data will be there and continuous interval and discontinuous interval will be there. how you are going to calculate the mean mode uh, median and what are the relationship between them and this is also we'll discuss here and median right these are the things we will discuss in the statistics actually and the probability this is a daily day to day life uh, examples we can say right today the, there 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 is right now ipl is going on so suppose CSK versus RCB match is going on. What are the chances to get a probability to get the CSK? What are the chances? These are the day-to-day -day life examples, right? And how we are going to calculate the probability? Whenever you are throwing a coin, so to getting a two heads, what are the probability? And to getting a two tails, what are the probability? Like uh, whenever you are throwing a die, dice, right? So Ludo game, right? Kind of thing, right? So and what are the probability to get that uh, thing? On? And uh, deck of cards, deck of cards. To get a uh, red, uh, red cord, red jockey, red heart, like kind of questions you will see here, and the, this is one of the easiest chapter I can say that, and you will you are gonna love this chapter as well as this is what your complete syllabus of your mathematics dear, right? Yes, yes. So that's it. That's it about your complete syllabus of your mathematics. The overview of that particular uh, subject and particular syllabus. 
you now you got uh, one proper idea i can say if possible take a print out of the complete syllabus of that your you will get it in the cbsc official portals so take the print out and and uh, keep somewhere like suppose if there is a uh, table or study room so just stick on to that particular table or stick on to it in front of your wall or wherever you are comfortable so stick to it and uh, uh, just look at the syllabus and all those things what are the topics will be there and uh, uh, how type of a questions how the type of a questions are coming from that topic and what are the weightage and blueprint also you can uh, take it and uh, fix it somewhere here and you can look at the number of questions coming from the each and every chapter right so i hope this session is helpful for you to understand the syllabus of your mathematics right so that's it guys thank you thank you so much i will see you in the next class